Hi everyone. So I thought I'd just take um, the opportunity to tell you a bit about my Socionics Crash Course. So you may have heard about it already, you might not have heard anything about it, but essentially this is my attempt to translate the sum total of my knowledge about Socionics into a course that you can take. Um, it, it's a paid course, um, but ideally one which you could actually learn about through um, in a day, hopefully, possibly, maybe. It's, it, it is technically 23, I think it's about 22, 23 hours long in, in, terms, of, um, in terms of content running back to back. So hypothetically, you could, although you probably won't want to. And you probably get a headache, and you probably be very hungry and need to go to the toilet afterwards. So it's quite a long thing. There's a lot of content to get through in terms of the sum total of my knowledge about socionics. But this course has that. It has packaged that into 12 separate lectures that you can listen to. You can purchase these lectures, and you can listen to them. Not only does it have these 12 lectures, which form... Um, six different modules. Uh, you also have an assignment which you can take, which basically um, enables you to showcase what you have learned and qualify you to have a nice certificate saying that you are a WSS socionist. So nice little thing there, a little challenge you can take on afterwards, after learning um, the contents of a course to prove your mettle and become a WSS socionist. Um, in terms of the modules, um, the reason I divide up into modules is partly for ease of understanding, partly due to affordability. The total price of the course is £600. That's quite steep. I, I get it. It is expensive. The amount of work that took me to create this course is several months. Uh, not only in terms of creating the uh, content, but also in piloting the content with um, uh, some um, early uh, purchasers who are okay going through it in all its sort of um, trial and error, trying to make it into the right sort of format to best suit an audience for learning and getting the right balance of content as well. Um, in terms of these modules, therefore, it's a way of breaking it down. Some of the modules are um, £80, some are £40, some are £160. And that just an easy way of breaking up into chunks for you to buy when convenient for you. Of course, if you are someone who has quite a bit of dosh at hand, you can actually buy the whole thing for £540. That's a 10% 10 discount of the £600. Uh, if you'd like to do so. Um, but yeah, let me tell you a bit about what is in each of these modules. So the first module is Elements. It is a two-lecture um, module, and it is about the information metabolism elements. It goes in-depth into what they are, in-depth into the different into the seven dichotomies making them up. Now, you may ask seven dichotomies. I've only ever heard of five dichotomies. Well, Mathematically speaking, there have to be the, uh, the number of dichotomies is the same as the number of things being described minus one. So there are two dichotomies which no one had really put out articulated. Now I put into, in, into the I put in the work to articulate what these extra two dichotomies are, and they happen to be very very important. So you will learn what these are if you buy module one. You'll find out what these are. No other sociologist except maybe Ibrahim is starting to really talk about this. So it is certainly worthwhile getting um, Elements Module 1 if you're interested in understanding the information tablets and elements, what they are in a very clear definitional sort of way, how they compare and contrast to each other. So you know the clear differences and um, distinctions between each of them, and also what some of them have in common, which you might not have initially expected. Uh, so that's Elements Module 1. Module two is functions. So that is also a two-parter, although it's a bit shorter to listen to than elements. Um, and essentially, this is going, taking the same kind of depth in looking at the functions of Model A. 
first of all, I go into what exactly a function is, go through a different, few different understandings of what a function could be seen as, but then I dive into the seven function dichotomies. Now, in each of my modules, I've done something a little bit new, a little bit fresh. So for elements, of course, we've got these extra two dichotomies. For functions, where the seven dichotomies are already known, I instead talk about how to, um, well, how to um, look at how they interact in Model A for someone of a certain type. And there are two sorts of things here. There are interactions, which are between um, functions um, that um, essentially the element that, that occupies them is, is, is the same domain. Um, and there's also transitions, which talks about how we move up or down or away or, or towards something in different situations. So interactions, which are basically the main sort of dynamics, well, the main, the main sort of um, focuses in the type, and then transitions, which is how the type moves around from situation to situation. So this is very, very new stuff. People don't talk about this in socionics, um, but I am talking about it. And it is a very important way of understanding the types. So yeah, I cover that in um, module two, functions. Um, so I should say that um, elements is, module one is 80 pounds, just to, to buy just that. Functions, similarly, is 80 pounds. Um, module three is also 80 pounds. And this is another two-parter. It is the foundations of type. So in the foundations of type, I'm looking at the 15 type dichotomies. So there's a lot of dichotomies in this one. It's very, it, it gets quite um, in, into the nitty gritties. Um, when I say 15 dichotomies, I'm talking about, first of all, the correct understandings of the four Jungian dichotomies, which you've seen me explain um, on my YouTube channel already. But I also go into the 11 Rainian dichotomies. Now, I've been someone who, until recently, has shied away from some of the more complex Rain dichotomies. I didn't feel they've been explained well and need a lot of um, groundwork to really come up with good definitions for them. Well, that's what I've been doing in my preparation for this course, coming up with very clear definitions of um, very sort of obscure Rain dichotomies, like asking, declaring, and process and result, and then how they actually come together to form the small groups. And there are, there are some small groups you may be familiar with, clubs, quadras, temperaments, etc. I've come up with some new small groups as well, such as tournaments, which are the groupings based on stubborn, flexible or inert contact. But other small groups as well, like the axes or the standoffs. So all sorts of new, fresh content, which you'll only find um, when go, going through foundations of type. Now I say only fine. Okay, to beef to give to give uh, people their due. Um, some of it is my own explanations of things such as Galenko's uh, cognitive styles. But the difference is I've gone through the the Rain and dichotomies making up these groupings, and I come up with an explanation that is that follows that is sound that that um, that is entailed by what has come before in terms of the theory. And some of them, um, I don't think, have been explained to the same degree, like another small grouping called Courses I've come up with, which will be um, hopefully very interesting to people. So, yes, um, please, if you don't want to go into type in, um, the, to really understand the foundations of type, this is the one for you, Module uh, module 3. Again, it's £80. Pounds. Uh, module 4 is Type in Depth. Now, this one is more expensive. It's 160 pounds. Why is that? Because it's a four-parter, not a two-parter. And for type in depth, what I do is I dive deep into each and every type. Uh, one part is are the alphas, next to the betas, then the gammas, then the deltas. And when I say dive in depth, well, that means I'm not just looking at the type in terms of the model A. I'm also looking at the type in terms of all their interactions and all their transitions, the things which I um, introduced in module two. So module four is the bringing together of modules one, two, and three, and all the extra parts I've come up with to give a really in-depth understanding of every single type. And this will take this one 
yes, you could watch the whole thing in eight hours, but but it will probably take you a lot longer than that because throughout I have video examples. I've been spending months going through YouTube to find examples of every single little facet of the type in terms of its interactions, its transitions, each individual blocking, etc. that I could find. So if you want to understand the type to a level of depth you've never had before, then purchase um, type in depth, which is module four, which is £160. Pounds. Um, if you prefer to skip through that, just go straight to intertype relationships. Maybe that's the part you're interested in. Well, that's what you find in module five. That is relationships. And in module five, I go into the dynamics of each and every intertype relationship. I have an approach which looks at what types of, of relationships are likely to clash, what ones are likely to complement, which ones merely confuse each other, um, which ones actually would get on all okay, and they tend to be quite competitive with one another, tend to over um, and over energize the room or under energize the room when they're interacting. So which ones are asymmetric relationships? And what does it mean to be asymmetric? What is the particular dynamic that happens in these relationships? All of that is explained in depth in my uh, in my module five, the, the relationships. This is cheaper than the others. It's only 40 pounds because it's only one lecture. But it goes in depth nevertheless, and it has video examples of each and every uh, intertype relationship as well. Um, then we have module six. Let's say you are just purely practical. You want to apply what you have learned. That is module six. That is how to type. And in how to type, I go into all the different methods and approaches of typing. Uh, when I say different methods, I don't mean ones which I wouldn't really encourage, such as visual identification or looking at colors or anything like that. No, I'm talking about some solid, um, scientifically um, adjacent or scientifically approvable approaches to typing people. I've got two methods in here, depending on the situation that you're in. Are you going to follow the formal method, which is more academic, more essay-like, more about a very rigorous examination of multiple sources. Good for typing public figures, maybe even typing fictional characters, if you can find a well-written fictional character, more often famous figures, right? That's the formal approach. I've also got the informal approach. This is the approach which you have seen me use countless times in my interviews. This is basically learning how to type people in real life, people you meet, and getting you guys to really think what questions to ask, what kind of data is good data, what's bad data, how much can you trust the data, how you should aggregate the data to actually make sense of a particular typing, how you should actually in, um, interpret what you're seeing from the data for making a good typing, and then how you can aggregate that to actually put together a strong case for someone being a certain type. This is all in how to type, which is module six, which again, it's in one lecture, so it is 40 pounds again. So those are the six modules of my course. And finally, the seventh part is the assignment. The assignment is to write um, an essay, essentially. It's to utilize the formal method of typing, as in shown in module six, to write a, a, an essay on a certain famous figure, which we'll discuss beforehand. You need to talk to me via email and we can sort out which one you'd like to do. So on you choose, but it needs to be one I haven't seen before. And yes, if you write a compelling um, essay, then you can qualify as a WSS Socionist and you can get a certificate for that. Now, that is something which is meant to be difficult. It's not meant to be easy. And you might not pass the first time, and that's fine. I will, each time you um, you get unlimited submissions, and I will look through each one. Just let me know when you've finished the next submission, and we'll make sure that it's all right. And if it's not, I'll send back, um, yes, my, uh, my feedback for you to improve upon it, and I'll help you. I'll, be, I'll, I'll work with you to get to the point when you can pass. And that's the idea. It's not about lowering the bar. It's about helping people to get over the line so that we've got more high quality socionists in the um, international typology community. 
Anyway, yes. So as I said before, this is in total £600. You can break it down into each module to, if you don't have that kind of cash flow. Or if you do want to buy the whole thing at once, that has a 10% discount of uh, making it £540. So yeah, that sounds interesting. Please get in contact. Please send an email to worldsocionics at hotmail.com. Now, you should be able to find that in the description as well. So just send an email to worldsocionics at hotmail.com. Put uh, in the title course, something like sign up to course. I'm interested in the course, whatever it is, just so I know what the email is about. And yeah, I'll be checking my junk mail as well, just to make sure I don't miss any of these emails. And yeah. Then I'll be able to send you the information so you can actually sign up. It'll be a, a Stripe payment link. And then you'll have access to both the lectures, uh, the Revit lectures of ones you purchased, and also the slides. So you can go through that and you can learn that. Anyway, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me as well or just post in the comments section. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.